One of the leading 2020 presidential Democratic candidates is media darling, Pete Buttigieg who recently announced he would be joining the growing list of 2020 Democratic candidates. Buttigieg is the incumbent mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and is a far-left politician who greatly opposes everything President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence stand for. Buttigieg is a vocal opposer of sexual harassment and also notes that it has no place in our society. Voter poll, should Obama be arrested for illegally spying on Trump? Sexual harassment has no place in our society, thanks to at St. Mary's College for hosting today's discussion on how workplace culture, not only policy, must be supportive, the Democratic candidate said in a tweet last year. Sexual harassment has no place in our society, thanks to at St. Mary's College for hosting today's discussion on how workplace culture, not only policy, must be supportive. Pick.twitter.com slash CFA6G6, Pete Buttigieg, at Pete Buttigieg March 26, 2018 We know Buttigieg, an openly gay man, thinks sexual harassment is bad. But what about sexual assault? On Sunday evening, a 21-year-old student Hunter Kelly came out and alleged that he was sexually assaulted by Buttigieg earlier in the year. Pete Buttigieg sexually assaulted mates colon slash slash t dot co slash ltd ones zero g Hunter Kelly at Real Hunter Kelly April 29, 2019. Kelly wrote on Medium about his experience and his troubles with coming forward about the allegation. He also noted that he contemplated committing suicide. 2020 voter poll, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Check out what he had to say. My name is Hunter Kelly. I am 21 years old. This is by far the hardest thing I have ever had to do. For the past three nights, I have not slept even a single hour. I have vomited eight times. I was sexually assaulted by Mayor Pete Buttigieg. I didn't know who he was back in February, only that he told me he was an important politician. When I started seeing him on television three weeks ago as a presidential candidate, I thought about coming forward. I am a gay man. I have been grappling with my identity for a number of years. I live, work, and attend college in rural Michigan. I know that by coming forward, I will make a hard life even harder, but I must do so I must do so for my country, for other gay men like me, and most importantly to stop a very bad man from becoming President of the United States. I must confess that this is the toughest thing I have ever had to do. For two weeks now, I have been contemplating suicide. I see myself jumping from a building or a bridge. I know that years and years of counseling may lie in front of me. In the days and weeks ahead, I will share my full story with the nation. As of now, this is just an allegation so we will assume Buttigieg's innocence until more evidence is presented. Get your free Trump 2020 flag before we run out keeping this in mind. The media has been dead silent on this announcement by Kelly. If this had been about Trump, the media would surely be spending day and night reporting on the situation at hand. But since we are dealing with their lover, Pete Buttigieg, the media is completely silent. Once again, we see the extreme bias from the far-left media. They will do anything to protect the Democratic candidates. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Related. Rush Limbaugh says this one Democrat can beat Trump in 2020 related, Clinton connected Dem arrested for horrifying crimes against young children, you might like let's block ads. Why?